Hi guys, today we're taking a look at the next generation of QNED TVs from LG. This is the LG 75 inch QNED 816RE 4K Smart UHD TV. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So this TV has an awesome spec with HDMI 2.1 ports, which supports 4K at 120 Hertz, which is great for gaming, but also uses a combination of nano cell and quantum dot technology to give richer colors. So I'll be showing you around the design, setting it up and testing it out for general usage and gaming to see what the picture quality is like together with seeing how well it performs. So hopefully this review will give you an idea of whether it's worth getting or not. Plus I'll highlight any pros and cons I've found regarding it. But before I begin, Again, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below. The TV comes in a massive box and due to its size, it's definitely worth getting someone to give you a hand setting it up. So let's open it up and see what you get inside the packaging. Removing the straps at the side and cutting open the top, you get a back plate for the TV stand, a detachable power plug, one part of the TV stand, a bag containing some documentation, a cable tie and clip for cable management, some batteries for the remote, a bag containing screws and the magic remote control. Then lifting off the outer packaging, at the bottom you have parts of the TV stand and finally you have the TV. The QNED81 TV can be wall mounted but I'm going to use the stand provided. To install the stand lay the TV on the box with the polystyrene inside as you'll need it slightly raised due to the stand sticking out. There's two installation positions A or B which are indicated on the back of the TV. Position B is the lowest position and position A adds a few more centimeters in height. I'm going to install the stand in the B position. Start by hooking the two clips on the back of the mount stand into the B slot. Then screw the four screw locations marked B on the back of the stand and screw them until they're secure and tight. The metal stand is then slotted into the bottom of the mount and then securely attached with four screws in the middle. You can then place the TV into position Coming around the back of the TV, you have the screws for the VESA mount points in the center, which measure 400 by 300, allowing you to mount it on the wall. On the left hand side, you have the power input port, and it's nice to see they've finally got a detachable cable, making it easier if you wall mounted the TV and had to run the cable through some conduit. On the other side at the bottom, you have your ports, which consist of one optical digital audio out port, one ethernet input port, two RF inputs, one for an aerial and the other for a satellite input. Input, one USB input port, two HDMI 2.1 ports with one support in eARC, two HDMI 2.0 ports, a common interface port, and a USB input. The QNED81 TV also supports Wi Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5. The stand has quite a nice design with built-in cable management allowing you to channel cables on either side and then use the blanking plate provided to cover them up. On the front things are nice and minimalistic with a squared off thin bezel which has plastic film all the way around. Let me remove this. The bezels measure just 14 millimeters on the side but the back of the TV goes slightly thicker the further you go along with it being 30.9 millimeters thick from front to back. You've got LG QNED branding on the bottom right hand side and in the bottom middle you have the infrared pickup point together with a button which doubles up as a power button and provides some basic controls. The frame and back is a very dark blue with it almost looking black. The stand is slim and compact not taking up too much space with a dark grey metal finish which looks really nice. Personally I'd say the QNED81 looks best wall mounted as it's pretty thin with a squared off design so you can have it flush against the wall with the cables nicely hidden. I've got the dimensions on the screen to give you an idea of how big it is both with and without the stand. Setting up the QNED TV for the first time is pretty simple. Insert the batteries into the remote and turn on the TV. Press the OK button on the remote. Select your language, country and how to set up the TV. I'll go for TV. On the internet connection I've plugged in a cable from my router to the LAN port. Accept the terms and conditions. Confirm whether you're using it with a stand or wall mounted and the sound will be optimized depending on which one you select. Then then enable the AI functions for AI picture and sound pro. I've turned these on. Make sure the software automatic update is selected. And now you can tune in any channels if you're not using a set top box. And you have both a free view and free sat tuner built in. Next, we can sign in with an LG account, which you can do with the ThinQ app on your phone, which is available on both Android and iOS. And that's it. It's as simple as that to get up and running. You can then install any apps on the TV. When you first get the TV, there's a couple 
couple of things worth checking initially. First, make sure energy saving mode is turned off as it makes a big difference on the brightness of the picture. And then check for any software updates and update if required. So you get the latest software, which will have any bug fixes or enhancements in there. Now let's jump in and test out some gaming on my PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, as it's perfect for them since the QNED TV has HDMI 2.1 ports supporting 4K at 120Hz at the full bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second. Now I've got my Xbox Series X plugged in and looking in the settings, everything is checked except Dolby Vision and Dolby Vision for gaming, meaning games that support 120 hertz will be supported with the added feature of variable refresh rate or VRR on both the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, giving a great gaming experience. AMD FreeSync Premium is also supported, which reduces stuttering and screen tearing for a smoother gaming experience. And there's also auto low latency mode where the QNED81 automatically activates the lowest latency setting when gaming with your console. Gaming on the QNED81 TV is pretty impressive with its massive 75 inch display providing a really immersive experience. Performance is good when gaming with both my Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. I've played a number of different games and the colors and contrast levels are really good with the colors looking rich and the picture being clear with good clarity levels. There's also LG's game optimizer mode where you can get all your gaming specific functions in one place, which shows you what frame rate your game is running at, along with the black stabilizer, low latency and any VRR. You can also optimize the picture depending on the type of game you're playing. So you can flip between FPS, RPG and RTS, which all have slightly different picture settings. So really impressed with this. You even have the ability to do cloud gaming via the GeForce Now service and the advantage of this is you don't need to have a games console or a PC. All you do is pair up a Bluetooth controller to the TV and launch a game from the GeForce Now interface. I've tried a few games out like this and it works really well, but remember this relies on a stable internet connection to make the most of this. And the GeForce Now service is a subscription based service. So there is some free aspects to this together with a higher level of subscription, which has an additional cost to it. The QNED81 also supports HGIG, this gives the picture while gaming even more accuracy, allowing the gaming console to apply the optimum HDR settings without it being too saturated and overexposed in areas. The picture looks clear and bright, even in really fast scenes. The picture quality on the QNED81 TV doesn't disappoint, with colors being vibrant and sharp, combining a backlight with quantum dot nanocell color technology, providing enhanced brightness, deeper blacks and richer colors. With the Alpha 7 AI 4K Gen 6 processor, the QNED TV is able to automatically optimize and adjust the picture to match the surroundings, ambient brightness levels using its AI brightness control. And with the AI Picture Pro and AI Sound Pro, the QNED81 can analyze and upscale the picture quality to ensure it's at its best and optimize the audio based on the content to give a more immersive and spatial sound. HDR10 Pro is also supported, which uses dynamic tone mapping to automatically improve the contrast and clarity levels, especially when viewing in bright rooms. Viewing angles are very impressive as the colors and contrast levels are pretty consistent with minimal loss of picture quality, unlike an LCD display where the quality is reduced. Black levels on the TV are are good as it has local dimming, reducing light bleed, but just to note, they don't match the same levels as an OLED TV, even though the darker images look brighter and clearer, but this alone makes a huge difference to the black levels and dark scenes in comparison to an LCD. There's a range of different setting options on the QNED81 that gives more clarity with changing the panel's brightness or by changing the option for local dimming to make the dark scenes darker or adjusting the dynamic tone mapping, which adjusts the contrast levels in HDR to give more clarity. You also have motion eye care giving you the option to watch videos with less glare, super resolution that makes blurry parts of the image more clear and reduce blue light which adjusts the color temperature automatically to help reduce eye strain. There's also a multi-view option allowing you to watch two different sources at the same time but you could be gaming and keeping an eye on a live sports event but worth mentioning you can't display two separate HDMI feeds at the same time and the maximum resolution support 
supported here is 4K at 60 hertz. You also get more options with side by side view and picture in picture mode. There's 10 different picture modes, which I've shown side by side on the screen to give you an idea of the differences. And each one can be adjusted depending on your preference. The filmmaker mode is an interesting one. As you can see, movies exactly how the directors intended as it turns off motion smoothing while preserving the original ratio, colors and frame rate. And this will deliver the director's original vision. So you experience the film the way they intended. But personally, I prefer cinema as it seems more natural, giving a good viewing experience. The QNED has 2.0 channel down firing speakers, which are not bad for a TV with such a slim panel. It's nothing amazing, but have a listen to this to give you an idea of what it's like. But I'd say if you're getting this TV for movies and gaming, then it's definitely worth investing in a good sound bar or surround sound system to get the best experience. The Magic Remote has a good feel to it with a scroll wheel around the middle and it has their magic motion that brings a pointer onto the screen, allowing you to quickly maneuver around by just moving the remote around. It's good, but it does take time to get used to it. And then you've got some quick access buttons on the bottom, including Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc. You also have a built-in microphone where you can initiate voice commands at the press of a button. Plus it recognizes related or trending words through its AI concierge using the search history or voice recognition to give you recommended genres like sci-fi action or cartoons. The OS is LG's ThinQ AI and WebOS providing features like quick card. The home dashboard is well laid out and performance is good while navigating around with it being pretty easy to use. The TV does come with some pre-installed apps, but you do have an app store where you can download any additional apps like Spotify, Amazon Prime, and lots more. And any games that you install will appear here at the bottom and you can rearrange them however you like. Then below this, you have the recommended or trending shows. The QNED81 also has an AI picture wizard, which analyzes millions of potential settings to find the best color preferences and provide personalized display settings. So in summary, the LG QNED81 is a pretty impressive TV, providing 4K picture quality with richer and vibrant colors, together with good contrast levels and brightness. Gaming on here looks awesome at 4K 120Hz, giving a really immersive experience on the massive 75-inch display, and performance is good even in fast scenes with no distortion or haloing effects. There's no screen tearing or stuff providing smooth and sharp picture images with it supporting AMD Premium Pro. Watching movies is an awesome experience with all round viewing angles. Negatives wise, the black levels are good, but not as good as an OLED and the speakers are okay, I'd say, but nothing amazing. But that's with most flat screen TVs and not really a deal breaker, I'd say. So there you have it. You come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in description below, including purchasing links. And to get the latest information on prices, click on the link in the video description. For those of you who got to the end of this video, please leave a comment with LG QNED81 as it's nice to see who's got to the end of my video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.